Boys, get everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, I come up with it. So, listen, I am a fan of Dr. Umar Johnson, although I do not take him that seriously. And the reason why he shouldn't be taken seriously is because he does things like this. But I'm telling you, as a psychologist, I'm not going to be able to psychologize all of them on the corner. Some of them going to sleep for good! Exactly. Good to Dr. Umar. He makes a lot of great points, but what I take Dr. Umar for is just entertainment value only because that's the only thing that he can provide somebody like me. Although he does have his good points here and there, but I do like to hear Dr. Umar Johnson weighing in on personal commentary. Now, sometimes he makes sense, other times he doesn't, but he decided to bless us with his opinion of what has happened to Jada Pinkett. And Dr. Umar has stepped up as one of the other people who wanted to roast Jada Pinkett. Now, what I'll do is I'll be quiet here and let Dr. Umar go ahead and talk about that. Let me talk to Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith, I am so tired of you embarrassing my brother Will Smith. Miss Jada Pinkett Smith, I am so tired of you embarrassing my brother Will Smith. Every time you get in front of a TV, you got to do some disrespectful shit that is unbecoming of a wife. The things you say out of your mouth, Sister Jada. The things you say out of your mouth, Sister Jada Pickett-Smith, I don't think they need to be said. You already had my man go up there and smack the dog shit out of Chris Rock. You already had my man go up there and smack the dog shit out of Chris Rock. Which caused him to be suspended from the Oscars for about a year. Not that we care. Because when Queen Mother Ancestor Hattie McDaniel won an Oscar, when Queen Mother Ancestor Hattie McDaniel won an Oscar, when Queen Mother Ancestor Hattie McDaniel won an Oscar, she couldn't even come out front to receive her Oscar. I think they brought the Oscar to her backstage. So I don't give a damn about no Academy of Coons Awards. I don't care nothing about the Academy of Coon Awards. I want to make sure we understand that. I could give a damn about the Academy of Coons Awards. Let, let's just be very clear. That damn statue is the statue of a slave master. So I'm not concerned about that. But you could have diffused that situation a little bit better. Now you turn it around telling the world that Chris Rock wanted to clap your flat ass cheeks. First of all, Jada, no disrespect because you're a beautiful woman in the face. You're be- but you ain't got no body. You ain't five five thick in the thighs by no stretch of any man's imagination. Now, if Chris Rock told you he wanted to clap your cheeks as a get back at, and Chris Rock, you was out of line for doing that, but I can understand Will Smith embarrassed you, so you wanted to get him back by clapping his wife's cheeks. I understand. But Jada, what did you do in response to Chris Rock asking to clap your cheeks? Why did Chris Rock feel so comfortable to ask you if he could clap your cheeks. See, when a woman comes to you, black fellas, I hope my brothers is listening to me. I help my brother, I hope all my African alpha males, I want all my unapologetically African alpha males to listen to your big brother, Dr. Umar, right now. I want all of my anti-snow bunny, unapologetically African alpha males, I want you to check into your big brother, Notorious RBG, one time. If your woman ever come home, saying that a man solicited sex from her in a very private manner, not vulgar, not boisterous, not out loud, not disrespectful. If a man pulled your woman to the side and solicited sex from your woman, you got to be a little suspicious. If a man pulls your woman to the side and solicits sex from your queen, you got to be a little suspicious. If a man pulled you to the pulled your wife to the side and solicited sexual relations with your woman, you got to be a little suspicious. Did what did she do to make him so comfortable, feeling like he can make it advance? What did she do that made him so comfortable 
that he felt like he could make a sexual advance. Is this not suspicious? Is this not suspicious? Is this not suspicious? And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I give Chris Rock a little bit too much credit. I don't think Chris Rock asked Jada if he could clap those flat lemonade cheeks. I don't think he did that. No, let me just say, let me just say this, okay? Uh, firstly, Dr. Umar Johnson is talking about Jada Pinkett and like, you know, like Chris Rock wanted to clap her cheeks. Again, which is something that I think did not happen. I think that this is a lie, but he talked about something, you know, very interesting that, you know, Chris Rock, um, why would he want to clap some cheeks that are pretty much cheekless? All right. Like you're not really working with anything. So why would he do that? So I kind of wanted to see who was his ex-wife, Malik Compton Rock or Malak Compton Rock. Who was she? Can I get some Jeopardy music? All right, so Malak Compton Rock is a very attractive woman, a very beautiful woman. In my estimation, more beautiful than Jada Pinkett. And now I want to see how does she look in comparisons to Jada Pinkett. Now that is her body shape, her body size. And uh, I mean, she's a well put together lady. Again, not just, you know, she looks good. She looks very, very nice. Um, then like Jada a little bit. So is it possible that uh, Chris Rock wanted to clap Jada's cheeks. Can I get a da 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 sound effect? I would say no. Here's why I'm going to say no. The reality is that Chris Rock doesn't need Jada Pinkett. All right, everybody knows Jada Pinkett is a hellraiser to want to date her. Not to say that she's ugly because she's not, but there would just be simply no reason why he wants to date her. Now, even after this, Chris Rock has dated recently a white woman, right? He has a white girlfriend. Um, so we looked at some of his tastes <clears throat> and that is Lake Bell, who is completely different than, than that. And, you know, this is somebody who is much younger than, than him. Uh, she's 43, he's 57. So that's Chris Rock and his new white chick. So unless I'm just mistaken, I, it looks like Chris Rock tends to like a woman who is much younger than him, but he's not really so into the big butt and the big breast type of thing. He does like women who are height, weight, proportional, and it wouldn't make any sense <clears throat> for him to want to deal with somebody like her. Hell no, till the no, no, no. Now, let me just get into... Um, a lot of what, you know, Umar was talking about with, you know, clapping cheeks and five, five, thick in the thighs. Let's talk about this. Some black men, <clears throat> a lot of black men like me, stop the show. And if you ever come to Africa, it is a lot of cheeks. I'm just going to be real. It is blessed with cheeks here and there. Like you just can't stop looking at it and you don't have enough time to get all of them. It is just what it is. The cheeks in the cheeks clapping ability it is amazing it is out of this world you would get no objection from me on that however a lot of black men don't need to have juicy cheeks okay it's not necessary here's the determining factor do you have a good attitude now i have never seen or heard of chris rock's ex-wife or any of this other person people like his wife or lake bell i know they divorced but you've never seen them have a public image Lake Bell is in the industry, but she's never talking about their business or their issues, right? So Chris Rock tends to never select a mate who he feels is very vocal in the media as to expose their issues or problems. He doesn't do that. Now, that should be for him a determining factor as to never wanting to talk to Jada Pinkett. And the reason is because he would have too much to lose for his own personal information. 
So the body type he could like for Jada Pinkett, but if you see the kind of woman that he likes, the behavior is not like that. The behavior is altogether different. And at the end of the day, this is what these black men want. These exclusive rich black men that have a lot to offer. They are not looking to deal with women who are loud mouth, aggressive, um, you know, always taking their business to the media. Like who? Okay, yes. Like what? Like Jada Pinkett. It is an absolute turnoff for these men. These men do not want to end up embarrassed in the news, embarrassed like Will Smith. They don't want that for their own personal life. So even if he is attracted to her, it would make no sense to want to put yourself at that sort of risk. And this is one of the reasons why Tia Maori can't get anybody. Look at Tia Maori. Tia Maori's in Hollywood. She's not bad looking. But one of the reasons why Tia Maori can't get anybody in the industry is because of fear of what she may actually go out and start talking about. For fear of that she's going to go out and start saying things about the relationship that she doesn't need to be saying. And for a lot of black men who have money or men in general, they're going to stay away from somebody like that because it's just too much of a stress and it's not worth the hassle. When you have the opportunities that Chris Rock has, the other guys have, and I understand, yes, being in the industry, you see these people, but listen, you can always deal with somebody else who won't put you at that sort of risk at all. What's the whole point of putting yourself in a situation that makes you vulnerable or unhappy when you don't need to do that, you'd be much better off doing something different, which is what he's doing now. Something different. He's dealing with somebody who's more mellow and none of the ladies that he's dealt with act anywhere near Jada Pinkett. So I believe she's lying. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate your fraud. You do subscribe at the bell. We're out.